I'm definitely not afraid of heights at all. But I'm just as like afraid of dying as anybody else. You know what I mean? A lot of people say that they're afraid of heights, but really they're afraid of like falling off a cliff and dying. You know, so I mean, if I thought I was actually gonna fall off the cliff, then yeah, I mean, I feel fear just like anybody else does. Hi, my name is Alex Honnold. I'm a rock climber. Free solo climbing is just climbing big routes without a rope. In general, when I'm soloing big walls, it's anything from like 1,000 to 3,000 feet. Honestly, anything above 50 feet is kind of all the same. You know, or anything beyond like 150 feet is all the same. It doesn't really matter if you do 2,000 or 20,000. It's like either way, you're done if you fall. Alone on the Wall was a climbing film about me soloing two big routes. You just have like a cubic inch of finger shoved into the crack. And then you have both your feet just kind of pasted on little nothings. I think soloing requires a certain amount of commitment, a certain amount of concentration and focus, and just to make sure you don't make any mistakes. Like you wouldn't say that it's inherently dangerous. It's only dangerous if you fall off. I mean, driving is only dangerous if you crash, you know? I climb year round, but I just constantly have to follow good weather around the world. So when I'm on the road in the US, I stay in this van. You know, I just park wherever and sleep in the car. Home sweet home. Here's a, here's a brief tour. I mean, there isn't a whole lot going on. Uh, there's a bed, there's a kitchen, with like a stove, some propane, some water, a bunch of food. Um, I got all my stuff under the bed. Um, that, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing. Yeah, for the most part, I'm just hanging out in the van. I mean, it sounds grim, but like when I get to places, I know people and I climb with them. And you know, there's always like a climbing community. The climbing community is very transient. You know, like people are constantly following weather and, and I have a lot of other friends who climb full time. And so you pretty much just meet up with friends in different climbing areas around the world. So this is a crash pad. Um, this is just like a big mat that, that sits under you when you're bouldering, just so that if you fall, you don't break your legs. Once you pass like 15, 20 feet, you kind of need like a big pile of pads. And then once you pass a certain point, like it doesn't really matter how big the pile is. You see how I'm keeping my arms straight? So it's like, I'm not even pulling with my arms. I just set up my legs and now all at once, I like rock up onto that right leg. I climb full time. This is what I do. And there are rocks all over the world. It's beautiful. Yeah, you can climb anywhere. <laughs>